And the last year we stopped in Simon in Sif Chav Beis. We go from Sif Chav Gim, we'll go through different points. Again, I'm not going to go through every Sif, especially since some of the Sif and there are later on we already discussed previously, but uh, just uh, the ones that are that are uh, certain things that to be to be discussed over here. Even though it's not on a video, I'm recording it on audio, and you'll be able to have it afterwards. Sif Chav Gimel, it says you have to be Marchik Nevelas, Kvarim, Bursiki. Bursiki is where they, uh, where they tan tanneries of leather, the Kivshainis and uh, furnaces, Udvoidim and bees, Minoir. You have to, this is at 50 Amis. And the Bursiki, you can only do 50 Amis, you can only do it to the east of the city, but not in any other direction. Why, the Mechaber says, because the eastern wind is warm and it, re- and it lowers the amount of bad smell. It seems that pretty much most of these are because of bad smell. Nevelis, Kvarois, Bursiki, all make sense that it's because of bad smell. At least Nevelis and Bursiki for sure. Kivshain is a smoke, which we already know that it has a Kutra, and Dvairim because they're just going to be busy stinging people, so that's the problem with it. First question is, why does a person have to distance the Bursiki and the Nevelis, which are Reyach Ra? Ultimately, according to Svara, it's not Gira delay. If it's not Gira delay, we have a Halach. The Halach is, if it's not Gira delay, we follow the Yosi. On Nizak L'Harach Yisatsmi. There's two explanations in the Rishenim, which then filter through to the Achrayinim, and there's Nafkeminah Zladina between the two or you could combine both together. The first one is the Ritva on the Gemara over there. It says, ultimately, you are causing a hazard directly from where you are. That means even though you're not causing the bad smell to flow, yeah, but because you have a Bursik over there, so your thing is causing a hazard. Therefore, it's considered get a delay. Obviously, what we're talking about over here, and we were, since based on what we spoke about last year, this is all talking about when the smell goes Baruch Mitsuyo, and that's why it has to be only in a certain direction. It's based on the directions of wind, it's based on the distance, etc. If there's something which generates bad smell, but it's only Baruch Shehina Mitsuyo, it's not even, even in this scenario, it's not a problem because it's not something to be expected, something which is to be expected. Something which is to be expected is a problem. And that's why, if it's a Ruach Metsuya, it's your responsibility to make sure that you're not causing any hazak. That's the shita of the Ritva. The Raivan, Chelekal of Simon Aleph, says it's a hazak derab. So even if you were to say this is not Gira delay, and we say it doesn't make sense to say that it's Gira delay, still it's you have to remove it because you're being mazik the rabbim. The Rajba and the Ran hold that there is no, that even by a hezek the rabbim, you still have the archiv archok is only by giro delay. So if you're going to say this is not giro delay, the answer of the Raven doesn't work because whether it's hezek the rabbim or not, doesn't make a difference, only by Gira delay, you have to be Malachik. The Chavas Yoir, that's how he, and that's why they, they would say they're easier to say that it's Mitzad Gira delay. It's actual Hezek that you're doing, even though you are not doing it yourself, um, but you're, what you put over there is generating a Hezek, and that's considered Gira delay. The Chavas Yoir, Simulation Gimel, that's how he takes the approach. However, if you look in Beis Meir, Simon and Beis, and Chelkas Yaakov, Cheshemishpot, Simon Yud, over there, they do take the approach that there is a difference between Hezek Yachid and Hezek Rabim when it comes to Giro delay. And by Hezek Rabim, even if it's not directly a Giro delay, it still have Chiyo Varchaka. So it seems like they follow the Shitta of the Raven, even though both the Beis Meir and Simon and Beis, Shas Chuvas, and Chelkas Yaakov, Cheshemishpot, Simon Yud, do not mention the Raven, and somehow they don't mention the Rajma and the Ran either. There's three Nafkeminas, or there's more than three, but there's three examples of Nafkeminas between these two Shittas if we say 
that the issue over here, the chiyuv al chokeh by Nevelos and Bursiki, is because of that, that is because of reyachra. Is it because it's hezek the rabim, like the raven, or because and therefore it's not and it's not gira delay, or because we say that the hezek which you created is still considered a gira delay. First nafkemina is the most we'll call it the strongest one. Could a yachid be me'akev? If you say that it's gira delay. Yachid could be me'akev. Someone if it's one person, one resident in the city, he could, he could still stop it. It's not, it doesn't have to be everybody. It doesn't have to be a rabbim. If you say it's not gira delay, it's only mitzad hezek de rabbim, then you have to have rabbim. Then you go into knesses agdela. Three is considered rabbim, or more than three, whatever, whatever the whatever the situation is. And then you go into a discussion if it's if it's specifically yachid. Or what's rabim? If you have ten people who own the tannery and only four people are suffering from it, is it considered hezek the rabim or not? So if it's mitzad gira delay, then you say yachid kum akiv. If it's mitzad hezek the rabim, then not. That's one nafkemina. Second nafkemina would be if you were seimach beheter, and we're not going to go into, uh, into the whole machlekes and shenim what's considered seimach beheter, but we know from the case of the Goyren, when it's a Hezek the Rabbim, you have, you have, uh, even though he has to move it, and regardless of, uh, if, even if you're going to say that it's not, if you say that it's only because of Hezek the Rabbim, then he's going to have to move it and he gets paid for it afterwards. And if it's Mitzat Gira Delay, and it's Gira Delay, you could say it's a Meschadash B'chol Yoyim, because every day that you make new tanneries or you throw new nevelas, you're creating a new hezek, then, then you have to be marchik and your smicha behet doesn't work unless you get into the whole discussion, which we also went through. That's if you do it, if, you, if you're kind of in a hefka, etc. And the third one is, if you have a chayla. Huh? And the smicha was without mecha, then you're going to have to move it without getting paid. No enough is regarding the chayla. We went through this, even though it's later on in Shulchan Aruch, that if a chayla, whether if the chayla is someone who was healthy and became a chayla, or somebody who is a chayla and moved in, that a chayla could be ma'akev, something which is causing him damage, which had gira delay. So if we say it's gira delay, and this person has, gets nauseous and throws up every time he smells, uh, every time he smells uh, bursaki, or today we're going to say there's a lot of chemicals, a company which makes, uh, which makes chemicals and there's a certain smell which causes people headaches. So some people can handle it and people who are less cannot handle it or whatever it is, these kinds of azekas. So if a person is a chayla, if it's gira delay, then you chayv laharchik even if you were there first. And if it's only mitzat hezik derabim, just because it's one person who's suffering, lav dafke, and it's not gira delay, lav dafke, you could do anything about it. The Alter Rebbe in Hilchas Niski Momen, see if you Zion, adds over here something which he adds in a bunch of places in Niski Momen, which is the rule of the, the majority, the rule of the of the Bnei Ha'ir. Says, ah, it's awesome, it's a but if Kula Mashlichim Nevleiseyem Bashuk, Oy Be'ash Bashe Bashuk, if everybody does it, everybody throws their garbage in public areas, everybody throws in the veils over there, then it's as if all Bnei Ha'ir were Moichel one to another, and it's and it's mutter, which essentially means that the concept of throwing garbage in the street is something which is dependent on which city you live in. And uh, it means it's throwing garbage that smells. In places where the minig is that you leave your garbage out in pails or whatever it is, and it takes a week till they pick it up because they only pick up your garbage once a week. So it's the whole b'nei are mekabel upon them that uh, that uh, the day that the garbage is cleaned, the street smells decent, and uh, f- five days later, the whole street stinks if it's a summer, and that's nothing you can do, nobody can have any tightness about it. But if it's a place where it's not so, then it's not so. That's mitzad reyachra. Now, why do you have to be marche kvarim? There is, this is a machlekes, or lavdavke is a machlekes, in Yeridea Simon Shin Samach Heis If Beis, where the Mechaber writes over there the following words: Machik and Akvar is Ma'ir Chamishim Amo. Same thing that he writes over here. Over there he doesn't say it because the Reichra. 
the lavush over there, the Berhetev brings the lavush, the Berhetev over there in day. The lavush over there say, says that the reason is because you don't want the situation that people are going to see Kvarim all the time and they're going to become sad. Berhetev, and the Berhetev explains what it means they're going to become sad. There's an issue in Gemara that somebody who's misatsev will become sad regarding death more than what Chachamim said could get punished for it. So if you're going to have a basic Kvarim mm-hmm. outside the city, People are going to see the basic words on a regular basis, they're going to get sad, and it's going to create, generate an issue for them. It's very important to remember this, because it's going to be, again, something we'll discuss at the end of this year, about, we'll call it, Ruch Nizdike Hezekis. The Shach disagrees with it, and says, that it's mashma from the Gemara, that's only because of Re'ach Ra. The Bar Hatev says, that, an, that, Be'etzim Levush also agrees it's because of Re'ach but he adds another element. It's also because of Yisatsu. Because of, because of Yisatsu. The, 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 huh? Can smell bad? I'm going to get to it soon. I don't know if it smells bad or not. Yeah? Maybe in those days it did. Maybe they didn't dig so deep. As the Bar Hatev says, the Vush definitely holds because of Re'ach Why? Because in this simon, he puts it in the same line as Merchik and Neveles and uh, and, uh, and and the Borosuki. All three are because of Re'ach Therefore, the Bar Hatev says that the Lavush comes with a big Chiddush, even if there's no Re'echra. It's still also because of the Yisatsu. What's the example of no Re'echra? They dug deep, so there's no Re'ech. Still have the issue of Atzvus, and the Bar Hatev brings in the base hill on Yeridea, that in our countries it doesn't apply anymore, because the Mekayim and are determined by the Sare Ho'ir, by the government. They determine where the cemeteries are. Sometimes they're inside the city, sometimes they're outside the city, sometimes they're far away from the city, they're close to the city. So we just do whichever place that they allow us to bury. Just interesting, unrelated to the Shir, that when Krach Abad was established, it's one of the only places, the, it's a big Kfar today. It's still called a Kfar, which is a village, even though it has a lot of families. The Rebbe did not want a cemetery in Krach Abad, even though a lot of other places had, have cemeteries. The Rebbe did not want a cemetery in Krach Abad. Anybody who passes away in Krach Abad gets buried in different cities. Huh? What's a cemetery? Cemetery. What's a cemetery. Cemetery. Beis HaKvores. Beis HaChaim. Beis Almin. Now, the base Yaakov over here on Chosh and Mishpat says, brings a, brings a raya to the Lavush. And he says the kasha of the shach doesn't work. Why? Because it says, certain Gemara, that a woman would bury the Nephilim within 50 amas from the city. So he says, that's Haraya, that you do bury Kvarim nearby the city. So then you're going to say, oh, daf machna chiluk between a kever yachid and a kever rabbin, that maybe the Gemara over there is talking about the kever yachid. And uh, here we're talking about the public of big base aquatus. So therefore, so he says it doesn't make sense because you're not going to say it to a city only has one woman who buried her who buried her nafal outside. So it must be that it's because of, must be that it's because of atzvus. In addition to the concept of reyachra. And he, and he says, when a kever yachid doesn't generate atzvus. Well, I, this is one caver, and you drive past one caver, it doesn't generate answers much. And if you drive past a, a cemetery, a Beis Achayim, which has uh, hundreds or thousands of, of matzevis, by Nephalim, you also don't have it. He doesn't explain why, but everybody knows by Nephalim, you don't put matzevis. So the fact is, if the person's going to drive by it, or walk past it, he's not going to have the same, the same atzvus. And that's why there's no, these don't have an issue. But... If not so, you still have the issue of, of atzvos. Well, if but the noise after that, you say so, so. if it's because of smell, the kever yochid is still a problem, because the smell is still there, unless you dig deep. Huh? So that that that's the bar hatev explains the lavush. The Beis Yaakov says we have to we, that it seems like the the lavush also would agree with the issue of smell, but lavdaf. So there's either it's both reasons or it's one. The, the Shach understands that it's contradicting reasons. It must be because of Re'achna, not because of Atzvus. The Lavush <laughs> either says only because of Atzvus or both reasons together. Today, you don't have the Re'achna. 
most of the time, you don't have that problem of the Reich Rab, but you still have the problem of Atzvos. Unless you go through like the base hill, that today we just follow it in the Machos or wherever they put us to do it. If you're looking to your right or to your left while you're driving on the Jackie Robinson, then you shouldn't be driving on the Jackie Robinson. Bechlam, not mitzad atzvim, so it's a all those turns. There's an interesting Shaz Chuvas Mari Vale and the Shaz Chelik Simonayin Aleph says that Kevri Yochid is also a problem because of Reyach Ra. Same thing as in Shuvas Yaakov Chelik Gimel Simon Ches. However, when you look in the Mari Vale, it seems like he says that a Kevri of a Tzadik doesn't have that problem. You could build a cave of a tzaddik in the middle of the city. There's no issue. Bukhaira, Rechra doesn't apply. There's no recall. It doesn't, say the, it doesn't clearly say the reason. And it's at Atzvos, we all know that that doesn't uh, apply. Regarding a Bursiki, if it's a bad smell or not, the Marasham, Chilik Aleph, Simen Kufa, and Ches says it's only applied at the time of the Gemara when they had open air tanneries. And they used very bad smelling things to do the tanning. And that's why you have to be marchik. But in today's day and age, he says, times the marasham, that that they do it indoors and they don't use the same strong smells. It's not a problem. Chayra, the same. First of all, it's clear that the marasham did not go to the to the Middle East, where till today you can see tanneries which are open air. Um, second of all, Europe, probably the heat is not so strong, so even though there's still the smell is not so bad as in other places. Third of all, most importantly, that the Marasham, if the Marasham, it's Marasham, that it depends to any kind of usage that you go, any kind of, 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 of uh, business that you're going to operate, which is going to generate bad smell, it depends on if you do it in such a way that the bad smell is going to be able to travel. If you, do a, if you have a factory and you do it indoors, so it protects the smell from going. That's not, that's not a problem. Uh, whether you're allowed to do it in Ruach Mizrachis or not, only Ruach Mizrachis, the Bursaki, from the Prishat Smash, may not allowed to do it um, on any other Ruach, even more than 50 Amas. But the Taz says the difference between Ruach Mizrachis and other Ruachis is whether that the Ruach Mizrachis you could get away with 50 Amas, other Ruachis you have to go further, more than 50 Amas. It all boils down to how much smell is going to be over there. And the reason for Machlik is between the Prisha and the Taz is what's the reason for Mizrach? The Prisha brings three reasons for Mizrach. The Taz follows the Shidduch Shulchan Aruch. It's only because of the, the, that, that the wind on the east is, 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 makes the smell less. So if the reason is because the wind on the east makes the smell less, so you could do other sides where there's less, where there's less smell. Sif Chavdal that discusses about a shoivach, a, a bird feeder. Not a bird feeder, a bird house. Um, for for uh, pigeons or other kinds of birds, that you have to do it away from the city 50 amos, or if you do it inside the city 50 amos each direction, and the reason is because the birds are going to be eating the seeds. I'm not going to go into it right now. However, the Mechaber continues that if you bought it as is inside the city, you bought a shoivach, so you have a chazaka that's mutter, and if it fell, you could build it again. Why? Ta'aninon alikeach. Here, the bezdin is going to be tainet alikeach, the first one who built it built it beheter, and there's no difference. The Machaber concludes there's no difference whether it's yoch, even if it's yachid against against Rabbim. Now we're going to see the machlekes prisha slash sme against the taz. When do we say this din of tanin on alekech? The prisha in sifkat lamed gimel says it and also repeats himself in the sme and sifkat nun vav. That this applies also to a geiran and a bursiki. The garden that we learned earlier, and the bursiki, that if a person buys it and it's already there, not only could you keep it there, if it falls, you could build it again. What's the svara for if it falls, you build it again? A very simple thing. The, the, if you say that it's because of Mechila, that the Bnei Ir were Mechil, or the Bnei Ir sold it, or Zayn Tuvi or whatever it is, then they allowed this kind of damage to continue to exist. So what does it make a difference if the shoivach is, is now, or the goyden is now, or the burski is now, or you change it, you do renovations, it makes no difference. And makes no difference, that's according to Prish and the Smeh, that this applies to all, there's a reason the Mechaber put it over here, but it applies also to the previous ones, previous ifim, goyden, burski, 
uh, Nevelus, uh, Beis Akvores, all these things. Now, I don't know if anybody buys Beis Akvores, but it happens to be, even though I never thought that somebody buys a Beis Akvores from somebody else, I did get a call that somebody wants to go to Adentaira to force somebody to sell a Beis Akvores. I don't know the details yet. I didn't send that as money, so I don't really have any idea about it yet. But then I discovered that you could sell Kvarim with people inside. Selling Kvarim with people not in their midst is something which is common, but selling the basic Kvarim is a new thing that I discovered a few days ago. Huh? You can buy the people. What? You can buy the people too. I don't know what you're buying. The person is kind of a coin. How can you buy I don't understand how you can buy a basic Kvarim. You can only buy the public roads. The person is, when a person is buried somewhere, that becomes his spot. And you can't negotiate with a dead person. So I don't know how you can buy it from him, but it is what it is. The Taz disagrees with it and says, this only applies in this simon to if the Ashayv Lach, it does not apply to a Gair, and it does not apply to a Bursiki. For a simple reason, Ta'aninan Alekeach only, what's Ta'aninan Alekeach? The Bez then comes and says that the Alekeach bought something from the first Meicher, and the first Meicher already took care of all the negotiations that have to, to, to be dealt with it. That could only apply if we have a possibility of a Chazaka. If you don't have a possibility of a chazaka, you can't have ta'anina. How can you not have a possibility of a chazaka? He says, because by a re'achra, it's like beis ha'kisei kutra, it's hezek darabim. And it's, it's, uh, it has a godl. It has a godl, you can't have a chazaka. If you can't have a chazaka, you can't have, then there's no ta'anina lekeach. By a goyrin, it's hezek de gufa. It's not, uh, it's, uh, also you can't, you can't be, you can't have a chazaka by a goyrin. Afterwards, you, you have to take it down. So therefore, he says that Tanina is only by a Shaivach, not by a Goyren, not by a Bursiki, not by, any, not by any of the other things, because since you can't have a Chazaka, so you can't come later and be Tanina for the Chazaka. The Sivas Amish put in Chidushim is Machriya like the Taz, the most of the Achrenim are Machriya like the Taz, that this is only, this Tanina Lokeach only applies in this specific scenario, not in other, not in the other ones. Now, the Aruch HaShulchan, Huh? Sure, that's what Shulchan Aruch says. If it falls, and if it falls, and if it falls, you could build it again. And Tanina Lekech always has to do with Chazaka. Otherwise, what right does he have to do it? Even if the guy bought it the day before, passes away, and sells it the second guy, we still say the first one had the Chazaka over there. He bought it. He bought it. He bought the rights to it. No, but the bar, that's we're going to get to soon that the uh, Erech Shai says that uh, that it's connected to Mechira and you have to have three years from when it was built. If the the Erech Hashulchan says in Sifkat Nachav Zayin, if the Bezdin knows that the first one put the Shayvach up there, fifing on the rest of the world, also Baalimus, Baalimus, violent guy bully that uh, they know you can't the, the city would not start up with him so then there's no time on the care anymore if a guy is a guy that you can't work with and the fact is the people were not moich they were just not interested in starting up with him because they didn't want their houses burnt down so therefore you have to there's no there's no such uh, there's no time on the care there's a rashba that's mentioned in the end of the simon the end of the Simon Kufnun Hay, that is a Beis Yosef brings a couple of Rajbas, a couple of with the Rajba. The second to last one that he brings is, huh? the second to last one that he brings is, it's in Chelek Vav Simon Tzadik Zayin, that if, if uh, the seller comes later to Bezdin and says, I did it without Rishos, obviously we're talking about that we don't know that he's a, that he's a bully, etc. After sale, he can't come and damage it to the, to the buyer. That means he can't come to Bezdin later and say, I had a Shevach there for 10 years, but I did it without the Shus, and I didn't solve anything, and people were not happy with me. It's only, it's, uh, then he can't, he can't go later and mess it up after he sold it. He wants to do it before, it's one thing, but afterwards he can't, he can't, uh, he can't do it. Now what happens if you, did, if you did not move the Shevach away and you caused the Hezek? The Ktsis writes in Sifkot and Test, but this boils down to the Machlekes and Sifla and Gimel. Yesh Misha Oimer, Yesh Misha Poitim and Lashalim, Yesh Misha Machayev, Machlekes, Rishonim over there. And it depends also to if it's Gilo delay or not. 
So he says that's uh, the, the din of of uh, Chiyuv. A Hezek will be dependent on that Machlekes. In Pamoy Zohov, Siv Katan Gimel, asks on this, on this din of Machikim Shavach, and he says, why is it in Siv Chavbeis, if the Goyden is there first, you tell him, because of Hezek Derabim, you have to move the Goyden. Over here, you have the Shavach, and we say that, uh, that, uh, that uh, when the guy buys it, he doesn't have to move it uh, to anybody else. He doesn't have to move it. It's a Hezek Derabim. If it's a Hezek Derabim, even if you had rights to origin, if there were original rights to, there, but the Rabbim could come and complain that there's a hazard to them, and therefore they should be potter. Therefore, you should have to move it away. And he says, no, it's very different. He says, in the Goyen, what are we talking about? That, that we're talking about that the people of the city come. There's a new hazard that's that's being generated. Either new people move to the city, or the, or, or the city is there, and therefore they could come and they could uproot something which exists. By Shoivach, he says the whole reason why the Shoivach remains in place is only because we claim there was a mechila. There was a mechila from the people who are nizoikim, the people around him. If there was no mechila and it becomes a, if, if, if there was no mechila and it became a new hezek, then he would, there would be a problem. But over here we're talking about it. the shevach was there. The mechila from the nizoikim was already there. So nobody could come now and say, oh, now it became a hezek that happened because we have a buyer who we could drag to Bezden. Now, the Erech Shai says it's not because of Mechila, it's because of Mechira. The Taina here is Medin Mechira. And therefore, it's, it's Tolu in the in Cheskas Gimel Shonen. What we're saying is that the Bala Shaivach, the original builder of the Shaivach, purchased the right from the Bnei Ha'ir, from the Vada or whatever it is, to, to build the Shaivach over there. And therefore, if three years pass from the Shaivach, and it doesn't make a difference if the Shaivach was there first or the Nizaykim were there first, then he, this, that's when we say Tanin and that that uh, that there was a Kenyan done, there was a Mechira done, and it's all and it's all uh, and, and he could keep it going. And it's mashma for him that if it's less than three years, then we do not say Tanin and Alikeach because it's totally because why we say by if it's a Mechira, we have three years. After three years, you have to keep your shtat. That's the halach when you have a chazak. Seems like it's because there's a chazak. Now, obviously, if we say the chazak is because they saw and they weren't meichet, it's something else. But over here, it says the chazak is misad gimel shan. In seif chavav, I'm off to seif chavav. If somebody's tree is noita is leaning towards the soda of his of his friend, and therefore his friends, we're talking about two sodas which are made for plowing and planting, and uh, and he can't bring his tractors through, then he could cut. The Nizak, he's a person who, not the Bala Elon, the Nizak could go and take down whatever the, the areas of the tree which, is, which prevents his tractor. In those days, it was, a, it was a, the Machresha from going through. Now, he's cutting in that guy's property. He's not cutting in his own property only. He's cutting in his, the other guy's property also. It's still motor. And if it's a tree, so it says, Chorov and Shikma, the trees which make a lot of shade. And that causes damage to your sada because uh, the, the plants are not going to grow with too much uh, t- without sunshine. And therefore, you could cut as many branches until the shade doesn't reach your mezar, your border. So you're going. So you're cutting in that guy's property. Yeah. Why? Well, so how is his property in the your machreshes? Machreshes is wide. There's like easements. There's people. You have to make distance between them. So each one has to be marchik a certain amount, right, from the gates. Why to allow the tractors to come by to be to plow? I can't. I have to take turns and everything. It's part of the way it is done. If the tree is noita and beis hashlochim, or 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 beis oilan, where it needs where it needs less shade, where it needs more sunshine. Then we say that any kind of tree, even the ones that don't give as much shade, you can still cut them. You can still cut them, uh, cut them down. If there's other kinds of azekas, for example, if it's mifel uh, mifel achalina, we already discussed before. If uh, the, the branches are over your property and you can't build a sukkah, um, or things like that, which are azekas that you're having because of the shade, you could obviously go and cut the branches which are bothering you. No, you're not going into his property. Over there, you only have to cut from your side. Let's say his tree is blocking shade. His property is still blocking shade. It's blocking what? 
That's what that you could do on that property. Yeah, you can on that property. Yeah, yeah. Also, the other trees. If it's if it's based on based on yeah. If the tr- if it's preventing the if I want to if the tree is going on top of my property and it was on top of my roof, and then I decide I want to add a third floor. Now it's blocking. I can't do the third floor. So you're allowed to cut it. That's in Sifra of Ches. You're allowed to do it. The, and and uh, and uh, the nizak the nizak could could cut it down. And the mazik can't say, hey, until now, until now you uh, you 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 didn't have your your house so tall, so therefore you caused yourself a problem. This is the smith says. Now Siv of Zion it says if Elon is noita to the Shasarabim, you cut enough for the Gmalim to pass to pass under it. From here, the Lashen, it seems like, like uh, the Nizoik, the Bnei Rishul Sarabim, have a right to cut down the branches. And that's what the Me'iri says. It's a Chiyu of Bnei Rishul Sarabim. But the Chel Kasyakim and Cheshmish, but Simon Yud says, no, it's a Hezek Derabim. Therefore, the Rabim could force the owner of the tree to cut it down. It's his responsibility. Even though, Lav Davka is Gira Yeah, it's usually not Gira Based on that, if somebody has a tree which has berries and it's over on Tarek Rishul Sarab and all the berries fall and people are slipping on it, then, according to the Chalkas Yaakov, you could force him to to, uh, to, court, to cut it. And according to the Meiri, you can't force him to cut it, but you could, you could, uh, but uh, the Rishul Sarab and people could cut those, could cut those, could cut those, those, um, those branches. Um, happens to be, the Me'idi himself says that even when you are allowed to do these things, where you can't be kaifed to be masakin, still a Talmud Chacham, somebody should look at and not do it. Now it happens to be, even according to the, if today we have dinner the Machosa, in New York, if you're owner of a house, you're responsible for anybody that slips and falls in front of your house, you have to clean, even if the city's the one that planted the trees and the leaves are falling and that's where people are slipping, it's still your responsibility, and you can't even cut the tree that the city put over there. That's Mitzat Dinah the Machosa. But Mitzat Halacha, if it's a tree in your property, either you have to be responsible to cut it, or the other people could be responsible to cut it. And the Shavu Siyakim makes more sense because if it's a Hezek Darabim, and it's something which you could prevent, and it's not causing any damage to you, then it's not causing any real damage to you, then it's your obligation to prevent it. If it's causing, huh? You could cut it, yeah. If it's Hezek Darabim, but Lav Dafka, you could, Lav Dafka, you could, uh, you can't force him to cut it. Hezek Darabim, you could force him to cut it, according to the Chilkas Yaakov. The Ramo ends in that Tzif, that a Yachid cannot uh, direct his Mei Shoifchim, his, uh, his water from his sink, and whatever it is, to fall into the Shosh Arabim. That's Goyim Hezek. The Al-Tarebbe writes, in Sif Yutes, there's Mutter. Because Nagu, Kol Bnei Rishos Arabim, the Moichel on each other, to let all the water spill into the street, that's, Obviously, talking about times in Al Tareb, when there were Michael today, you can't get away with it, so you have to be careful. People don't realize that, and they make those mistakes, and the people just have certain things going to Rosh Hashanah without realizing that, according to Halach, it's also because there is no Mechila from the Rosh Hashanah that you could walk down the street and, and uh, you'll have uh, air conditioner condensate dripping on your head or the Chula Chula, which could stain your shirts. In Seif Lamed Aleph, it talks about someone who makes a mishra, a place to soak pishton, and then the water is going to soak slowly through the earth and damage the other person's vegetables. Or if he plants uh, krishim next to uh, next to betzolim, next to onions, and because of that, the, bet- the onions are not going to be so sharp. At least in those days, they were looking for sharp onions. So you don't have to be malchik enough that it should not be mazik. That's the Shulchan Aruch says. Um, however, you have to a little bit, there shouldn't be a hezek be a dime. And, uh, and over there, it's, uh, the Ramos says the same thing applies to any, to any, other, to any other ones. Why? Because there's no gira delay, the hezek comes later. And the same thing you see in Sif Lamed Bay, someone who has a tree, and the Ramos is somebody, who, even somebody who wants to plant a tree, next to a bird of his friend, and then you're going to have the roots, they're going to get to his bird down the line, at some point down the line, you can't be ma'ak of him, because it's a nezek which comes, it's not a nezek which happens right away, so it's like I said, it's good delay. Now, this is all based on the halacha, the tal nezek, the if it's not good delay. That's what the Ramos says, as that even somebody who wants to plant a tree is allowed to, if it's nearby to his, to his friend's uh, boy, 
even though in five years from now the roots are going to hit into the boil. However, Rabbi Yehin and the Rashi, the Ramban, the Meiri, and a bunch of other Rishonim said, even though Halach is like Rabbi Yosi that the Nizak Lahach Kesatzma when it's not Gira Delay, and this is not Gira Delay, still an all Achat Chile. If the is sure as a din, you should still follow. Being as a machlekes and gemara, and some say that even by not gira delay on a mazik laharik esatzme, not like Rabbi Yosi, therefore the chachila of the fnim sure as a din, you should not go ahead and plant a tree. This is all talking about if it was already done, do you have to do it or not? Now, guys, my many years. Now, as a machlekes, when does this apply? That if it's not gira delay, either you're allowed to do it, or if you did it, you don't have to be marchik. Uh, Agoyes Maimonius in Perikud Ois Bey says that this is only on things which are Yishuv Oilam, like a tree, or or your own Yishuv, or your own Dire, or things that you can't live without. But if it's none of the none of the above, you just and you stop causing uh, a, a non gira delay damage down the line, it's awesome. But the Marasham, Samaches says there's no. We don't make a difference between them. And all of these are nizak laharchik, laharchik es atzmei. However, if it's a hezek l'rabim, for example, if you plant a tree next to the water reservoir of the city and you're going to create a place where there's not allowed to collect water, maybe eres, then l'cha'ira, even though it's not gira delay, we're going to get into the machlekes, whether by gira, it's not gira delay, hezek l'rabim, you could prevent somebody from doing it, or... Or, uh, or not. The Ramban and Mechamos and Sefer Eklayachver says that all of these is all. The whole discussion is when the responsibility of the mazik is to be to be marchik or not. But in all of them, the nizik still has the right to do it. That means if the nizik sees the guy planting a tree and he sees in a few years the roots are going to hit his place, he could go ahead and when the roots start getting to his bird, he could go ahead and dig down and cut the and cut the cut the sheirashim because. Al-Nizak l'harchik esatzim means he could protect himself. Just a shail if it's a chiyuv in the mazik or not. It doesn't go into the other shoes. The roots are going towards his bird. No, I can't chop on a tree, no. The Tashbates in Chuta Mesholosh Tur Rishon Simon and Zayin says about a story about a person who going to the Ruch Nizdik Zaykis. This will finish. Somebody says he does not want to have a shlachta next to his house because the tabachim, the, the, the people who work in the shlachta, are like pros to mention. Sit to make litzanus the whole day. Litzanus is also, he's a talmud chacham, he's sensitive to it, he's not interested in that happening next to him. And the tashbit says that this is a hezek gadol that you don't have a chazakif for, and if it bothers him, it could be ma'akif. Shad hamishpot and Simon Kuf Ayin Alef Sifkot and Dalad says about a woman who was a grusha and wanted to marry a man, Zivuk Sheni, who lived in the same mavoy as her first husband. According to Halacha, a Gorosh and a grusha are not supposed to live in the same mavoy. So what's going to happen? The first husband says, I don't want you to marry him. You're going to move back into, my, into this mavoy. You move back into this mavoy, I'm going to have to move out. So I'm not going to be able to live here. You're causing me a hezek. Shara Mishpat says it's good or delay. Even though, he says there's no difference whether my, me being unable to live here is because of a isur or because of a bad smell or something like that. It's still awesome. Now, if you're going to take these two shittas together, and it's a ruchnis dikazekis or something which creates an isur for you, that will open up that suddenly a person, all this, you could be ma'akev, uh, girl's school from being built next to a boy's school. You could be ma'akev, a uh, person who has, uh, that uh, people should, a woman should not be singing. You could be ma'akev, uh, somebody who has a television. All the things that we see today, that we hear stories about people being ma'akev neighbors from doing things or moving in because they're going to create trouble. It could be it, all this, all, based on this, you can have all the ruchnis de kazekas fall into the same category. If I can't live here because of that, it's, some of these things are worse than 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 leitzanus, and based on that, lechayda, this all be all be in the same din of of uh, of niski shchenim. But still, don't jump to conclusions that if somebody comes with niski shchenim that he has a problem that uh, that somebody in his building is doing something wrong, and or wants to or they want to do it and he can't just sit and block it. 
there's more than one Dintaira in the history in the last uh, generation that had to do with, uh, with a girls' school that's opening, a girls' high school opening next to, next to a boys' yeshiva or Fakert. And, uh, and huh? Montreal, I don't know. So you could, you could talk about the, uh, certain things are also similar to it. That's, uh, if, if it's, I don't know if it's Mitzad Isur or, or, or whatever it is. But you have, you have that is something which has to be thought about. It means you can't just brush it off and say, well, you guys just a Kanoi. It's something which is mentioned in Paiskim. But at the same time, you have to think about it. You can't just say, okay, it's Asr. You can't just say, okay, it's Mutu. It's something to be, to, to be thought about. And next time you hear, you read such a story, you'll realize, that, hey, there's a Tashbit. There is a, there's a Tashbit, there's a Shara Mishpat certain things to make it interesting that it's not stam a article but it's something which uh, you could think of yourself say that next week we'll be finishing the simon